Hey Shadow, check it out! The poster for the play we helped out in is still up! Wow, still? It's been two weeks since. I'm kinda surprised no one's taken it down by now. Yeah... Even though I thought it was pretty dorky. I guess people did end up liking it. Speaking of dorky, nice job feigning on the stage, smooth guy. Oh, shut up. I... I was nervous, okay? <laughs> well, either way, it seemed to have all worked out in the end. Plus, we were able to help out the Radniks a pretty good amount with all the money from ticket sales. So overall, I'd call it a success. Whoa, since when do you show positive feelings towards anything, Shadow? Hey, sometimes I like people. Oh hey, don't look now, Silver. You might faint again. Huh? Oh, very funny. You know what? I think I'm gonna go talk to her right now. Hm, don't color me impressed. <laughs> hey, Blaze. Long time no see. Oh, hey, Silver. The same goes for me. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, I thought you did a pretty great job in that play you guys put on. Y you think so? Thanks. Although I think I might have done a better job if I didn't faint halfway through it. <laughs> that was pretty lame, huh? <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. But then again, I think it all went well. The crowd loved you guys. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, Silver. Now's your chance. You've been wanting to do this for a while now, and this is a great opportunity. So don't screw this up, man. Hey, Blaze. This might sound a little crazy, but how would you like to... Maybe, um... Like... Go out... sometime. You, you mean... Uh, on a date? Uh, yeah, but... If you don't want to, that's okay. I didn't mean to spring it on you out of nowhere or anything. So if you didn't want to, it's cool. We don't have to- N No, that's not it. It's just that I've never gone on a date before with anyone, so I don't really... know how to, I guess. Oh, well, that's okay. To be honest, I never have either, so... So it can be the first date for the both of us. If you want, I mean. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds really nice. R r really Awesome! Uh, when would work best for you? How about around noon this Friday? At the diner in the west part of town? Would that work? Yeah, that all sounds good to me. Okay, w well, I originally came into town to do a bit of shopping, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue with that. Oh, of course. I didn't mean to keep you, so I'll see you Friday then. <laughs> yep, Friday it is. Take care, Silver. You too, Blaze. <sighs> yes. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Ah, uh, I can't get to sleep. I'm just too nervous about the date. Even if it is still two days away, I've just got to calm down and relax. Have you ever been so nervous that you just couldn't calm down and relax? What? Tell me, how many times has this happened to you? I... I love you. Would you go out with me, pretty please? Ew, no, you're gross! No, please, what am I fighting for? If this is the case, you don't need to cry anymore! What are those guys doing on TV? My name's Vector, and you may know me and my comrades as the Chaotix Detective Agency. However, starting now, we'd like to help out the general public in a different way. That's right, we're opening the very first Chaotix Dating Advice Service, right here at Station Square. Dating service? That just sounds like one of those stinky online dating sites that rarely ever work. No, I assure you, it's quite different than that. What are they up to exactly? So, Vector, how does this dating advice service work anyway? I'm glad you asked, Knuckles. All you gotta do is dial the <coughs> All you gotta do is dial the number on your screen right now, and for the low price of $149.99, we'll give you all the dating and relationship advice you could possibly need. Hey, Espio, hold on to that thing better! Oh, uh, operators are standing by, so please don't hesitate to call. Or if you're more in the personal type, you can swing by our office and have a face-to-face -face conversation with one of our experts. There's me, the master love guru, Vector. Knuckles, the date night extraordinaire, and... Espio.
And if you call or come in today, we'll share our most valuable and secret piece of advice with you for just an extra $49.99. That sounds like a really good deal. You don't want to miss an opportunity like this. Don't delay. Call today. Dating service, huh? I guess it couldn't hurt to drop by. Look, buddy, I know we said we're experts, but we can't exactly help you if she's two-dimensional. You sound like you need to get out more. Knock knock. Is this where you guys are running that dating service thing? Why, if it isn't Silva, what brings you to our offices today? Well, I'm kind of nervous about a date I have tomorrow, and I sort of saw your guys' commercial last night. Why was it on so late anyway? It's all that we could really afford with how long it was. Airtime was a little more expensive than we thought. Ah, no matter, it's a thing of the past anyway. So, you said you got a date tomorrow, eh? Who's the lucky gal? Uh, <laughs> actually, it's Blaze. Oh, you don't say. Nice job, bro. Finally got the courage to ask her out, huh? Congratulations, Silver. I'm sure you're looking forward to it. Y yeah of course I am, but seeing as how I've never been on a date, I have no idea how to act or what to do, you know, Say like... no more! That's why we're here, to help people like you with anxiety in the unknown of the dating world. Although, as the commercial said, high services ain't free. Oh, right. Although, 150 plus an additional 50 is a... Uh, a little... Look, do you want the advice or not? Yeah, I do. Sorry. Here you go. Aha! There it is. <laughs> now we may begin. Please step into my office. Now, tell me, Silva, how do you think you should treat Blaze on this date of yours? Well, uh, I think I should treat her kindly and respectfully. You know, like be nice to her and also maybe compliment her to make her feel- WRONG! You see, women, they love the bad boys. The type of guys who don't listen to nobody. The ones who make their own rules and play their own game. You follow? Bad boys? You mean, I shouldn't be nice to her? Exactly! Uh, I don't know. That sounds like maybe it might not- Silva, I've dated a whole four women in my day. How many of you dated? Uh, zero? Zero, right. You see, I've gained quite a lot of tricks of the trade from those four. Don't you want to take advice from someone who's experienced? Didn't every single one dump you after the first date? I, that doesn't matter. The point is, I'm trying to help you out here. If you don't want to listen, you don't have to. Although I should mention, the service is non-refundable. Uh, alright. It sounds a little crazy to me, but then again, you do have the experience that I don't. Okay, give me all the advice you can. Ah, attaboy. Now as I was saying, women love a good bad boy. So, since you're not exactly one at heart, there's a few simple steps to successfully act like you are. First of all, rule out saying anything nice to her ever. What? That seems kind of drastic. Don't girls like being complimented? Heck, doesn't everybody like being complimented? You'd think, but in fact it's quite the opposite. Girls are mysterious. See, in my experience, it's actually better to put them down rather than to compliment them. What do you mean by that? Instead of saying something like, Your hair looks great today, you'd want to say something more along the lines of, Maybe you should do something to your hair. Wow, that sounds pretty mean. Hey, it's called being a bad boy for a reason. You're not supposed to be nice to her. Alright, I guess that makes sense. What else? Second, you need to act like a player. You might not actually be one, but you gotta make it think you got the ladies lining up for blocks just to go out with you. That'll make her feel special for getting to be with you whenever she is. But, won't that make her think that she doesn't matter to me? You're not getting this, are you? You wanna be a bad boy! Now are you gonna take the advice I'm dishing out or not? Sorry, sorry, I will. But you're sure this whole bad boy act is gonna work? 90% of the time, it works. Every time. That doesn't make sense. Now, the last piece to make this, uh, how you'd say, perfect bad boy trifecta complete is acting like you're too good for her. You want to act like she's the absolute last thing on your mind and your priorities. What exactly is the advantage to that? See, if you act like you're not into her, that's just going to make her all the more crazy for you. Then she'll be chasing after you like mad. It's astounding how often this actually works. I don't think that's exactly what's astounding about that advice. That's pretty much all you need to know. Just follow these simple steps throughout the entire date and you should be A-OK. -okay. If you say so. Hey, wasn't there some secret piece of advice that cost me extra? Oh right, of course, how could I forget? 
Listen closely, Silva. I'm only gonna say this once, you got me? Yeah, sure. What is it? No matter who tries to do it, you can never, ever take advice from anyone else. They could stray you from the path you'd be on with their own advice, you hear? You don't want to listen to anyone else's advice. I thought you were only gonna say it once. Silver! Yes? Now repeat after me. I swear... I swear... To never... To never... Take advice from anyone else. Take advice from anyone else. You ready, kid? Yo, Vex! I've got an extra tip that Silver might be able to use. By all means. What is it? Since you're probably gonna be really nervous, I'd suggest making the whole thing a double date. You mean like, with another couple? Exactly! If you guys go with another couple that both of you know, that could take a lot of the tension and feelings of anxiety away. It'll also make the date more fun, you know? Knuckles, you're a genius. Silva, you should absolutely make it a double date. Of course, while still doing everything else I told you to do. Hmm... A double date, huh? Alright, Amy, now that we got the scroll weapon, we can try to beat Mega Turtle at the end of level 3! Hold on, Sonic. I'm gonna get the door. Coming! You're mine now, Mega Turtle. Oh, hiya, Silver! Hey, Amy. Is Sonic here? I had something I wanted to ask the two of you. Yeah, he's inside. Please, come in. Sonic! Silver's here! Oh, hey, Silver. How's it going? I guess you could say I'm doing pretty well. In fact, tomorrow, I, uh, sort of have a date with Blaze. Aw, Silver, that's great! That's awesome, man. Took you long enough to ask her out. Although, the thing is, I'm really nervous about it all. But I heard that in these types of situations, it can work out really well if it's turned into a double date or something. <gasps> you want Sonic and me to double date with you and Blaze? Yeah, I mean, if you don't mind. That all sounds pretty good. Just as long as you don't faint on us like you did on stage. But, hey, I had enough courage to ask her out in the first place, didn't I? And I didn't faint back there. <laughs> if you say so. But yeah, it does sound pretty fun. And if it'll make you less nervous, we'd be happy to help you out. Where's it at, anyway? That one place in East Station Square, uh... Dreek Donald's was the name, I think. Oh, perfect! That's Blaze's favorite place! You want to meet there tomorrow, then? What's the time? We should probably get there around noon. I'll let her know you guys will be joining us. Yay, I'm so happy for you guys! I'm sure it's gonna go great, Silver. Yeah, I'm hoping it does. Alright then, see you guys tomorrow at noon. I just realized, this is the first double date we've gone on. I know! Isn't it exciting? I hope it works out between them. Speaking of them, shouldn't at least Silver be here by now? Oh, hey, there he is now. Hey guys, sorry I ran a little late. I was, uh, getting ready. For how long? You've got this, Silver, you've got this, Silver, you've got this, Silver, you've got this, Silver, you've got this, Silver. A while. I take a long time to get ready. In any case, you're just lucky you got here before Blaze did. Isn't that bad? Wouldn't it have been better to show up after her? What? Why would that be- Hey guys, sorry I'm the last one to be here. It's great to see you two though. Yo! Hey Blaze! Hi Silver! <laughs> hey babe. What? Uh, should I sit there next to you? <laughs> if that's what you want to do, then go for it. Doesn't matter to me. Silver, what are you doing? Well, alright then. So, how have you been, Blaze? Pretty good, more or less. I must say I was kind of nervous about this date, so I was a bit relieved when I heard you two were coming along. Hey, there's a coincidence! Silver, weren't you saying how you were really nervous too? <sighs> Not really. Honestly, I was almost thinking about cancelling the whole thing. But I was hungry anyway. <laughs> right, uh, anyway, I'm starving. Blaze, you come here a lot. What's something you'd recommend? It sort of depends on what you like, but I'd have to say that Do they, they have burgers? Could really go for a burger. Oh, yes. They're right there on the second oh, page. Oh, never mind, found them. They're right here on the second page. Well, well, would you look who it is? Jack, how's it going? What are you doing here? You remember how no one in town was hiring us? After people saw us performing the play, they must have realized that we're not killing machines like everyone thought we were. So the owner gave me a job here. Speaking of which, what can I get y'all? Oh, <laughs> dude, that's awesome. Oh, uh, I'll take a hot dog with a side of fries. Congratulations! I'll have the chicken sandwich with macaroni and cheese. Oh, and a shake too. I'll have the chicken nuggets and fries. <sighs> what are you, 10 years old? I'll have the deluxe burger combo, please. Oh, can I get the one that comes with a little toy too? <laughs> Yeah, you got it, partner. 
business is sort of slow right now, so this should all be coming out real fast. I like fast! Ow! What? I like fast! Do something! Huh? Oh, right. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Back in a flash. Psst! Silver! Huh? Come here! Oh, um, I've, uh, I left my oven on. BRB, ladies. Ha ha ha, yeah. Were you calling me just now? Silver, what the hell are you doing? What are you talking about? It's like when Blaze showed up, you turned into a complete jerk. You do want her to like you, don't you? Of course, that's why I'm acting like a jerk to her. I don't follow. I asked for some professional advice on how to act on a date like this, and they told me I should act like a jerk, uh, or a bad boy, if you will. And who exactly were these professionals? Oh. Hello, Chaotix Dating Advice Service. How can I help you? Knuckles, what are you doing? Oh, Sonic, glad you finally called. I take it you're having some relationship troubles with Amy? No, you idiot. Silver told me you gave him advice for his date with Blaze. What exactly makes you think you're fit to be doing that kind of thing? What's that supposed to mean? Remember what happened in town that one time? Oh, I get slapped by one girl and you think I'm not fit to give relationship advice. Put Espio on. Huh? Oh, Espio, line one. Hello? Espio, do you seriously think that all of this is a good idea? I was a bit reluctant to partake in this service, but then again, I don't really know a lot about romance in general either, so I just went along with it. Do you think it's a bad idea? Yeah, really bad. I feel awful for anyone that actually pays for advice from you guys about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, sorry Sonic, gotta go. We've got a customer that's planning on engaging to his girlfriend soon. Ciao! Oh, that poor, poor soul. Are we done here? I gotta go back to being a complete jerk. No, Silver, don't you get it? This was just one of Vector's get-rich-quick schemes. Their advice isn't good for anything. I don't know. You sure? Vector seemed pretty insistent with his advice. Plus, he's dated a whole four women. Look, I'm telling you, you don't want to do that. Four women, Sonic! If you're wanting you and Blaze to actually become a thing, just be yourself. You don't have to put on some kind of ruse or anything. If she likes you, she'll like you for who you are. Hmm. You can never, ever take advice from anyone else. Oh, that's right. Sorry, Sonic. No can do. I've got to believe in this advice. I'm going back to the table now. No, wait, Silver! Ugh, what's his deal? Oh, that really was fast. Let's dig in. Did you talk to him? I tried, but he's being completely stubborn for some reason. He's not acting like himself at all. S so, Silver, what do you think of this place? It's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's alright, I guess. I've got like 10 dates next week, so maybe I'll stop by here a few times. See? Why is he acting like that? He said he got some dating advice from the Chaotix of all people. Those guys steered him in the completely wrong direction. What are you two talking about? Oh, just how great the food is, of course! <laughs> I have to say, making this a double date was a good idea. Did you think of it, Silver? <laughs> of course I did. Yeah, I'm sort of a genius when it comes to this kind of stuff. Hmm, is that so? You know it, babe. Say, I don't know if you've ever thought of it, but you should try doing something different to your hair once in a while. Maybe polish that gem on your forehead while you're at it. Hmm. Excuse me, I have to use the restroom. Oh, and uh, I have to help. Wait, what? Were you calling me? Ow! What was that for? Uh... Silver, do you have any idea the kind of things you're saying out there? What? Well, well, yeah, I'm just doing what the Chaotix told me to. That's the problem! Those guys don't know the first thing about this kind of stuff! Do you want Blaze to like you or not? I do. Then stop putting on this facade. Blaze is gonna like you for you. And honestly, there aren't too many people who would actually enjoy how you're acting in the first place. I hear what you're saying. But at the same time, I paid a lot of money for that advice. I don't think it would have cost that much if it didn't you work- You got scammed, Silver! Just accept that! You can do whatever you want, but I know how you feel about Blaze. And doing what you're doing now isn't going to make her feel that for you! Here, I've got an idea. I'll go back to the table and keep up my act like the Chaotix said, and if you still think Blaze isn't liking it, I'll stop and believe you, okay? Wait, Silver! Trust me on this. Even if you guys are right, there's no way that- Huh? Where's Blaze? Oh, 
She left a few minutes ago. What? Why? She said she didn't like how you were acting towards her, and she could clearly tell you weren't being yourself. Really? We tried to tell you, but no! You just had to believe the advice you got from the Chaotix of all people! Guys, I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, don't worry about us right now. What? Sonic's right! You need to go make things right with her! Oh, y yeah you're right! Sorry guys, I'll see you later. Oh man, he left us with the bill! <sighs> oh, Silver. Hello. Blaze, I'm sorry! Sorry for what? For acting like a complete jerk back there. Look, the day I asked you out, I saw that the Chaotix had this new service for giving out dating advice or something. And, well, I was really nervous about going out with you, and I didn't know how I was supposed to act, so I sort of took their word on the whole thing. You took the Chaotix's word for it? Yeah, I was an idiot for doing that, but that doesn't matter now. That was my own fault. I just wanted to apologize for it all, and I just hope that you can forgive me. You were being very rude back there, Silver. Why were you acting like a completely different person? Again, that's thanks to the Chaotix. They convinced me that all women love guys that act like complete jerks and stuff. Now I can see that isn't true at all. <laughs> no, no it's not. If I'm gonna like someone, I'll like them for who they are, not some persona they choose to take on. Yeah, and now I really feel like a jerk. Sonic and Amy tried telling me just that, but I was too stubborn to believe them after hearing all that garbage Vector gave me. But regardless, do you think you can forgive me? Hmm. Alright. I forgive you. R really When you think about it, this really isn't all that big of a deal, you know? I'm not gonna hold any grudges or anything, so of course I'll forgive you, Silver. It's just good that you realize you were in the wrong sooner rather than later. Right. Thank you. And, um, this might not be the best time to ask, but what do you think will happen between us? Well, maybe it'd be best if we just stayed friends for now. I... I see. But... But? <laughs> you never know. Someday, things can change. I'm gonna head back in now, but I'll be seeing you around, okay? Sure. Later. Yeah. Someday. Good job today, boys. I'm surprised we didn't have as many customers as I thought we would, but I'm pretty sure business will pick up eventually. Huh? That's strange, we're closed. Victor! Oh, Silver, you're back. What do we owe to pleasure? Your guys' dating service thing is awful! I did everything you told me to do, and I got the complete opposite reaction of what you said! Well, surely you must factor in that every girl is different. What happened to 100% satisfaction guaranteed? Oh, <laughs> did, uh, did I say that? You guys should be ashamed of yourselves! Jeez, I've never seen Silver that angry before! It appears we let our friend down. Looks like I was right to have my doubts about this whole scheme. Well, guys, there's only one thing left to do. If you are like me, then you're very particular about what kind of figure you have. Having trouble? Then stop by the Chaotix Weight Loss Clinic and Spa. 
to receive advice from...